ball position is an integral part of the game. If you pass the ball to your teammates, you must give them an option to be able to receive the ball again. And that should be done with the right speed at the right pace and with the right foot and direction. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Coach Charles. And today, we're going to learn in this video how to improve your ball position with this few tips. So, without wasting time, follow me. Let me teach you. We started our warm up with a bit of back and forth shuttle run. This gets the blood pumping before you start making any form of moves, stretching either dynamic or static. But in this routine, as performed in my previous video, we are combining both the dynamic and the static warm up systems. Starting dynamically with the hamstrings and proceeding with the groin openings. Never forget any of these body parts because they are responsible for the major movements for the legs, for changing directions, execution of short and long passes, then finally the shoulders. We proceeded with static warm-up, working on our knees, achilles and hamstrings and the ankles before wrapping it up with a calf muscle stretching. So we use this passing method to activate our tempo, moving from slow to high build-up. Now this routine helps you to also get used to passing the ball in front of your teammate, even though this is in a short distance. As you mean you're on the run, in a situation of counter-attack, any pass pass behind your teammate will result in killing the momentum and predominantly nullifying the attack, and you don't want that to happen. So in this routine, you can see that we started with one pass inside one pool opening and momentarily increased to two passing sequence. This also can be attributed to ball mastering, ball feeling, but at a very high synchronized sequence. This particular variation or routine is your first step to your ball position movement. First of all, you should ask yourself, what is ball position? For those who need the basics, it is all about passing the ball and running into another good space or direction in order to receive the ball again. You must be quick, 
fast and aware to be able to know the right space to pass and explore momentarily. You can see that we are all in anticipation mode, which means be on our toes at all times to be able to receive and deliver the ball in a one touch sequence. Your cardio must be on point to be able to execute this task, guys. In this session, we switch things up by taking a two-touch combo for each player while exploring our spaces. Guys, high precision and synchronized time runs is highly required here to be able to get the job done. You can notice that our flare and moves and touches have stabilized because the first and the second routine was the key factor. This is why you always have to go from low tempo and build up to high tempo, guys. In the absence of the fourth player, we should have been suitable for three marker. But here, we use the poles. The spin movement was used to get our program enhanced to the peak for this video. We repeated both clockwise and anti-clockwise to create balance on our legs and our hips. Here, you are expected to take only one touch on the ball, keeping a sharp close mentality on the movement of the ball. If you constantly practice this routine and master it, especially as a midfielder, 
Here, you expect to take only a touch on the ball. Keeping a sharp close mentality on the movement of the ball. If you constantly practice this routine and master it, especially as a midfielder, your confidence will be top notch whenever you are on the pitch. Like I always say, you have to practice every day to get better. Football is like mathematics. If you leave it for one week, it's going to leave you for one month. So, guys, practice every day. Practice makes perfect. Guys for watching this video if you like it and you want to improve your football knowledge technical and tactical abilities skills and techniques i urge you to please subscribe to my youtube channel share like and comment for more weekly updates the next time see ya